Alrighty, so today we are going to be making the Ursula's Potion Mold Kit. Uh, these molds are from Sophie Toffee. Now, uh, they, as you can see, they are officially licensed by Disney. They have Disney up in here. They have a Disney mark. So that will come off in the potion mold, meaning that this mold, whatever you make, is literally officially licensed by Disney. Um, which is really incredibly cool and neat. And that's the really cool thing about the Disney Villains box. Disney has never really licensed anything uh, before, as far as I'm aware of. Like, sort of like this, where it's a make-your-own-resin-craft kit. So we have the, the actual potion mold, like the potion base. We have the, uh, that, that little, uh, the little topper stopper thing. We have the stopper that goes on the bottom of the mold. And then we have this that makes the mold hollow. And so I did actually make this video before, but I accidentally deleted it like an idiot before I could upload it. Because yay me. Um, and then, so I figured I'd remake it and I'd make it better because the last time the epoxy resin that I'm using. It's called the crystal epoxy resin. It was, uh, how do I put it? It, it, uh, it, it got, it was covered, filled with air bubbles still. Um, so I'll be redoing this because now I realize it says mix until the solution is clear of air bubbles. Um, and, uh, as you can see, I 100% totally did not. So I want my clear mold. So today I will be, let me find my tiny paintbrush here, painting in mica powder into the mold. And the reason why you do this is to, pres one, preserve the mica powders because when you do it like this, you don't actually need to use a ton of mica powder, which is the coolest thing. So, today I'm going to be doing a dark purple, I don't know if that shows on camera, but it's like this dark, uh, almost mauve purple, and the red. So, um, so I will be painting those into the molds, and once they are done, I will, uh, rubber band them together. Here I'm ready to go and this is everything all set up and ready for me to use it. So let's get into it. So actually first I'm going to do the red and the part that I'm going to be painting red is just this this little area that has the shell and the chain and it the re I, I also like this because it gives a more translucent effect to the resin than, uh, and it helps you save on your mica powder consumption, usage, whatever word you want to use there. Um, so it helps you save, which means it costs less money to do a cast of anything. So as you can see, I'm just, uh, I put too much in the shell. And I'm just getting that mica powder to stick on to the shell like that. And what the heck, let's do the little, the little bottle neck. I mean, I'll paint over it with the darker color. And that's all I want for the red today. So the rest is all up to this dark purple and it's, it's almost black. It's so beautiful. Now, the reason I did red first is because, you know, you want to work light to dark. That way you don't uh, have to worry about contaminating your really light, bright mica powders with something super dark like this. And this is going to take some thick coats, I feel, to get it on there. Alrighty, so that is that side done. Now, this side... I'm just going to do these two, uh, these side flanges and leave the middle three clear. 
and that should make it uh, nice and easy to look at. There was another brush that was so much easier I could have used, and I chose to use this one. Uh, good going, me. Uh, you just tap that down, get rid of all the, the excess there. So what I do like that uh, this gives just enough mica powder to get the color there, to express the color, and not not be too much. So this this mold kit is actually meant to be a shaker charm mold. Tap that down there, and a sh shaker charm mold is something like it. So it's hollow, and then you can put actual little charms and stuff in there with some oil. And then it turns into a nice little shaker and you can shake it around. It's got glitter. It's like a little mini uh, glitter globe. Do I want red or the purple? I'm going to go with the red for that. Now here comes the other brush that I said was a much easier brush to use. And I chose not to use it just very blatantly. So now all we're going to do is fit them together nice and snug make sure they're together correctly and they're they're marked together and then start rubber banding them off should probably have made the oh no don't sit like that um come on Get on here. Oh, I struggled so much with that rubber band for whatever reason last time. Um, I don't even know. Alrighty. And, yep. Oh, yeah. So you want to rubber band it nice and tight so the resin doesn't leak out of the mold. But, uh... Let me see here, because it's pulling not so tight that it shifts into a completely different direction. Um, yeah, I just have to undo those. That's too tight now. So, yeah, okay. So, just, just one round here. No, they're too big. Just, just here. So... So if you get it too tight, this will start to smush like that, and then you will never get the bottom lid to sit flush in there. So I'm going to set that there. Then we are going to rubber band these together. Oh my god, that almost dropped on the floor. <laughs> okay, come on. You can do this. Okay, you did it. Awesome. There we go. Just make sure they're still lined up here nice and tight. Oh no. Somehow there's some still some resin from last pour on the very top of the mold. And you don't want that. You don't want it to stick. So just scraping that off. Do a little scrapey scrapey there. And now we are ready to mix up our resin and go. Alright, now I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you off there. This thing is as slow as molasses this uh part b i believe no part a so part a is super super duper slow and a part b is like super super duper fast Alrighty, and you now check that they are even yeah how are they even already okay and then mix 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 until it goes clear again so apparently I actually didn't quite mix it enough last time. So there are so many air bubbles in here and I didn't realize that's because I had to keep mixing it until I mixed them all out apparently. Do, do, do. Once I have this mixed up, I'll uh, come back here. So as you can see, I just went ahead and filled up my molds ahead of time. Uh, this mold, I accidentally wound up mixing up a little too much extra, and it came all pouring out, so I didn't get these giant air bubbles that I had 
on both of the other molds. And uh, I had to fill that up. I have resin absolutely everywhere. And I was an idiot and decided not to wear gloves. Even though I know 100% you, sh you have to wear gloves when doing this. Uh, I just completely forgot to put them back on. So we'll come back tomorrow, check up on them uh, 24 hours later, and let them dry. And uh, then we'll put assemble it, and uh, we'll compare the results to these two. Uh, all right. So I literally... Is it still recording? I literally recorded this. The whole unmolding thing, the whole uh, putting it together, and somehow my phone decided it didn't want to record it. I, I think it really does not like this stand, uh, which is, I guess, whatever. Um, I have another one coming in the mail. So, this was covered in resin. These rubber bands are junk now, because they also got completely co coated in resin. But, so you just basically pull them apart and pulled these apart and then just pop the little disc out of the bottom and that little disc goes there uh, at the bottom of the mold. Now, I don't have that potion mold in because right now it is curing outside. Now, this thing has taken absolutely forever to cure. Um... Which is weird because when I, I brought it outside earlier to cure and uh, it decided not to. So we'll, today we'll look at it. The bottom is perfect. It is beautiful. Uh, Alright, now that's dry. So here's the bottom. This, the, the actual potion bottle itself is taking forever to cure. And I don't want to touch it because I don't want to get fingerprints all in it. But as you can see, this is... Is actually black it is not purple it is black with a tint of purple in it which is definitely awesome because everyone was saying oh there's no black there's no black there's no black in the in the whole Disney villains kit so I'm so sorry that my camera decided to not record unmolding this thing and the subsequent uh, painting on some UV resin so I'll go inside and show you real quick what that, that means. Um, so really what you want to do when you're done, because these molds will not make a glossy finish. They will make a matte finish, which means they will not be shiny. See this shiny? They will not have this glossy, beautiful shine to them. And like you can see it most on here because these are pure matte, especially these uh, stopper parts are pure matte. So you have to put a coat of UV resin on the outside to make it nice and shiny and glossy. And yeah, it's really hard to see because that one's pure clear. But here's, here's how you can see. This is pure matte, clear uh, uh, resin. So you really have to put a coat of UV resin on top of this to make it nice and shiny as a charm and to make it work. Um, because, I mean, you could keep it matte if that is your aesthetic preference, but everybody likes it glossy. Gotta have that glossy, shiny finish on your UV projects. So what I'm going to do is clean this up. I've been scraping resin and little little resin bobs off of all of my silicone molds here and my beaker there. Uh, sorry about the shaky camera work. I've decided that this phone stand is the devil because uh, it decided to not record 20 minutes of me unmolding and putting together the uh, the rest of the the actually finishing off the project. But as you saw outside, like I took it you outside to see it, it is finished. Now, as soon as it finishes curing, I'm gonna leave it out all night. It it'll be fine. 
nothing will get into it. So I'm going to finish cleaning my molds up and then we will end up uh, my whole work area here. Um, yeah, so I'll get finished cleaning everything here up and and that was the end of the video. So if you liked it or found this helpful or interesting, please comment uh, or like and subscribe and then comment if you like especially if you think this crystal clear epoxy resin like if you have any tips for using it because let me tell you right now this stuff is hard to get any air bubbles out i sat there mixing it for almost an hour uh and it wouldn't mix but yeah so thank you all for watching my video sorry about the shaky camera work uh let me know what you think of my new stand. Anyways, thank you very much for watching.